Hey guys, I'm back with another cruelty-free haul. So this is kind of a collective haul. So it's a mix of stuff that I bought, stuff that was sent to me as PR. There's makeup, skincare, hair care. There's some food items in here. Just kind of a mix of everything. This is gonna be really long. So go get some tea, get some coffee, get a beer, whatever you wanna do, and then come back here and let's just get right into it. I think I'm going to start with makeup because that's what most of you are probably here for. So I did order from Steely Style. They came out with this collection just before the holidays. It's three eyeshadow palettes and a blush palette. You guys have seen the blush palette already. You have seen this Precious Metals palette, but there's also the classic matte and the Rainbow Riot. So each one of these on its own is about $12, but you can buy them as a bundle for, I think it's like 40, 40 to $50. It ends up being cheaper than buying them all separately. And their formulas are really nice. So I'm going to do some looks with these two in the future as well. And I do have a discount code for Sealy Style. Any discount codes I have for any of these brands will be linked to down below. So all the links will be there discount codes, whatever. I ordered some eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. Again, you guys have actually already seen these in a video by the time this one comes out. These are ones that I put together to create a dupe for the Master Palette by Mario. It's not an exact dupe, but it's as close as I could get using vegan shadows. So I had a couple of these already, and I will link to that video below where you guys can see a full list of the shadows in here. I did also place another Makeup Geek order recently with more shadows and some lip products. So maybe I'll just do a Makeup Geek haul video pretty soon. When I filmed my 2016 favorites, I realized that not all the Anastasia glow kits are available anymore. Apparently some were limited edition or have just sold out. I'm not really sure what the deal is. So I decided I needed to get my hands on the ones I didn't already have. So I picked up the Moon Child and the Sweets glow kits. They're both really freaking pretty. In the sweets, it has this like pretty pinkish purple, a yellow highlight, and a couple bronzy shades. I think these are gonna be really pretty as highlights, but just like with the other glow kits, I can see them being great eyeshadows as well. And the Moon Child kit is really unique and really pretty. It's just all these pretty iridescent shades. It's totally out of my comfort zone. There's like a green tinted one there, some purples, blues. It's just totally different than anything I have and anything I would probably normally buy, but I really, really wanted to try it. So if you guys wanna see these in a video soon, just let me know. I also got a couple of gift sets from 100% pure justin did a whole valentine's day gift guide i'll link to that down below because he talks about these a little bit more as a lip caramel a lip gloss and two nail polish in each set which was just a really really good deal i thought these were awesome and the lip glosses have like gemstones and crystals in them which is super unique from amani i picked up the soy mascara to try out i have only used i think like one lip gloss from them ever and i was really really intrigued i know a lot of you guys have been requesting their foundation for foundation Fridays and I'm having a little bit of a trouble finding the right shade to get, but I wanted to give their mascara a try. I got another gemmed lip gloss from 100% Pure. This is in the shade Ruby, which is a really pretty red. It's not super, super bold. It's still really pretty when it goes on. And I just thought it was super, super pretty. And again, I was just really curious about the formula. I hadn't used these glosses before. Some more Steely Style. You guys have seen at least one of these in a video, but I got some of their lip glosses. They're really, really nice. They were in my 2016 favorites for that reason. So if you haven't checked them out, you need to. And another lip gloss that I got is from Root. This is the shade Cora, and it's just this really pretty vibrant orange shade. Their lip glosses are so nice. If you like the NYX Butter glosses, you are going to love these. So I have so many of these. I kind of want to get every shade that they make. I just really love the formula. I picked up some new tubes of the Second Skin Concealer from 100% Pure. I use this stuff all the time and I picked up some different shades from what I currently have been using. So I just wanted to branch out, try some different things, try some different shades. I also got some refills of the Second Skin Foundation from 100% Pure. Again, I did get some different shades too. So that way I would have a variety depending on how pale or how tan I am at the moment. This foundation is just so, so good. And 100% Pure sent me, this is their semi-matte lipstick in Blood Orange. You guys know I love sandstone. I love Pink Canyon and this one is really pretty too and, and very different for me. I'm not someone who normally buys red lipsticks, but this is gorgeous. When I added KL Polish to the brand list, I couldn't resist ordering every single shade. So I did. 
I kind of had to. You guys know I love Kathleen Lights. I love her videos. I've watched her for a long time. So excited when her polish line is cruelty free and it's also vegan. I'm currently wearing this shade right here today, which is Zoe. I really like the formula so far. I really like the colors. I'm really excited for her to come out with more spring shades. She said she's doing a whole line for spring and I cannot wait. Also from Steely Style, they sent me their pressed pigments. There are, I think, eight of them here, nine. Some of them are matte, some of, some of them are shimmery. They are all vegan and they're just really pretty. So you'll definitely be seeing some eye looks with these soon. I placed an order from House of Lashes. They continued their eye matte sale online, which I think was like 25 percent off or 20 percent off and they came out with new mini ones which have a shorter band i have this weird issue i don't know if you guys do too where most eyelash bands are like way longer on my face than they should be I guess i have short eyelids so i'm really excited to try these i picked up a few of the iconic minis foodor minis and some lash glue i did also place an order from root so i got their white gold illuminator which i've talked about in my january favorites i believe it was what I'm wearing today, actually, it's really pretty. It's just a really, really nice, beautiful highlight. So I'm really excited about this. And then I also ordered a ton of samples from them. So one thing that's really unique about Root is they do samples of pretty much everything. There's a whole page on their site where you can buy samples of things. So I got like a sample of their perfume, some samples of their Pretty Booster, which is like basically their version of a primer or a tinted moisturizer, some bronzing blushes, um, some different highlights. So it's enough to give you a few uses of product to see how you like it. And then you can decide if you wanna order the full size or not. And I think it's really helpful too, especially with like the pretty booster or the foundations and even the concealers just to help you figure out which shade you are. So I love that they offer that option. I ordered some stuff from 100% Pure. I picked up their Long Last Concealer in White Peach. When I ordered during their friends and family sale, they were out of the second skin concealer in the shade. So since I hadn't tried this one before, which is a cream concealer, I picked that up. I also got powder foundation in Golden Peach. Rianne talks about this all the time as a bronzer and I've been really wanting to try it anyway, so I decided that was the shade I should get. Hashtag Rianne made me buy it. And then I also got their blush in Peach and Chiffon. Chiffon was actually part of their points program, so they do a program where for every dollar you spend, you get points and you can cash those in for products, which I think is super awesome, especially if you shop somewhere a lot. So I think I cashed in some of my points, I don't remember how many, and I got this blush, which is really pretty, and then I ordered the peach one because I need peach everything basically. Also from 100% Pure, I got the BB cream in a glow and radiance, so the medium and the dark shade. I wanted to use these for Foundation Friday videos and I wasn't exactly sure which shade I was. And then they also sent me a bunch of tubes of the Fruit Pigmented Healthy Foundation to use in Foundation Friday videos, which I'm really, really excited about. Some of these are definitely going to be dark enough that I could contour with them or light enough that I could try highlighting. So I'm really, really excited to try that out. And then they also sent me some of their cream foundations for Foundation Friday videos too. So I'm super duper excited. Get ready for my more under percent pure Foundation Fridays. NCLA just came out with a new shade for Chinese New Year. It's called Prosperity. I was wearing this all week. It's such a pretty shade. It's this really pretty poppy with like a gold sheen to it. It's very, very unique. And I love the logo on this bottle. So thank you so much NCLA for sending this to me. And in the package too, it was adorable. There was like a little fortune cookie and they had custom made the fortune that was in it. So I thought that was just a really cute touch. I got from Fairy Girl, their full liquid lipstick collection. So these are the 12 shades and then these three are a separate set. I will be doing a try on and swatch video of all of these. So keep an eye out for that. I really liked the formula of their original lipsticks, which are back online by the way, if you've been waiting. And I'm so curious to see how these perform. And speaking of liquid lipsticks around the holidays, I placed a big order with Aromi and they were kind enough to throw in some extra shades. I'm really excited to check these out. It's been a while since I've used their liquid lipsticks. They have new metallic ones that I'm super excited about, but I pretty much just ordered every shade that was in, you know, the stereotypical pinky nude family that I always gravitate towards, and I'm just really excited to use them. So if you guys wanna see a swatch video on these too, leave a comment down below and let me know. From Lily Lolo, I ordered their Cherry Blossom Mineral Blush and one of their eyebrow duos. I got the shade Light, 
I tend to like to use a lighter shade on my brows than what they actually are, I just do. So I actually ordered these from the Organic Bunny. She just launched her new shop and they have a whole vegan section on there too. So make sure you check that out. This blush is really pretty and I haven't used a Lily Lolo blush before, so I thought it was about time. As some of you have probably noticed, I use MOTD brushes all the time. I have been for about a year. They were kind enough to send me a new set. So thank you so much to MOTD and I'm really excited to have a fresh set, they feel so nice. Cover FX also sent me their perfect setting powder. They sent me both shades, the light and the deep. I talked about the light in my January favorites. It's just such a lovely, lovely setting powder. I really, really like it. And the deep is nice as a bronzer as well. This is like half of what is on the table in front of me. ColourPop launched pressed eyeshadows. The majority of them are vegan, I think all but one or two are vegan. Um, check their FAQ to see what's not. They're $5 each. I ordered 20 of them. I ordered a ton. So I'm just really excited to try them. They said that they're limited edition. I'm not sure how true that is, but that's why I ordered so many is in case they were awesome. I had total FOMO. I didn't want to miss out in case they were amazing. ColourPop eyeshadows. I have a million now. I did place a pretty big order from Caney Botanicals as well, and then they included some extra stuff, which was so generous of them. So I ordered the Petal Polish, which is a scrub and a face mask. It's really nice. It has brown sugar. It smells really, really good. I love this stuff. Um, I also got their Fresh Face, which is a cleansing balm. I've been using this to remove my makeup. It's super nice as well. And I got their Rose Blush Facial Oil, which smells super yummy. You guys know how much I love my skin serums. You also know I love Rose. I think it's great for your skin and this feels really nice. And I had also ordered their Lip Balm, which is really, really good too. I like this. It smells like vanilla and mint. And the rose tone, because again, hashtag Rian made me do it. She talks about this all the time, so I had to try it. I feel like if you merged our beauty collections together, there would just be mountains of the same stuff. We're really good friends, and our makeup collections would be really good friends as well. Anyway, like I mentioned, they did send me some extra products. So they sent me the Moon Milk, which is a shimmering body oil and it's jasmine scented. It smells nice, it feels really nice, and it's really pretty on the skin. It creates a really nice sheen. The Green Tone, which is a hydrating chamomile and green tea toner. I've been using this and it feels really good on the skin. I was a little nervous because of the green tea and thought that might be drying, but it's really, really balancing. They sent the Black Magic, which is a detoxifying activated charcoal mask. I used this last night and it did a really, I don't know why I'm smelling it. It did a really great job at kind of pulling some of the gunk out of my pores that had been in there. I had some that were like, I could just tell they were congested and they weren't gonna like do anything on their own. So I used it especially on my nose and it worked really well. I got their Rose Kiss, which is a grapefruit and rose beauty balm. It's like the best combination. It smells like grapefruit candy, actually. And then their Moon Sands Illuminating Strobe Highlighter, Cocoa Bronze, which is a cream bronzer, and Ultraviolet Duochrome Prism Illuminator. I don't think these are even up on their website yet, so I'm gonna swatch them so you guys can see them. So this is the Illuminator. Just a really nice cream consistency. Oh, dang. That is really pretty. It's an iridescent purple, which is really nice. This one is their bronzer. That is so pretty. These feel so buttery too. Like the formula feels really nice. They're definitely cream products. They're definitely not a powder, but it feels really nice. I think this is gonna be a good highlight too. And that's just like gold. These are so pretty. I can't wait to use these. I could see these also being really good as like cream shadows or bases for other products too. Skin Iceland sent me their Clear the Way kit. So this is a kit for blemish-free skin to just really help clear up your skin, which I think is good for during this time of the year. It has a pore minimizer, a cooling daily lotion, cleansing cloths, and blemish dots single use dots that are gel patches you put on your zit overnight. So I'm gonna have to test this out. I'm really curious how it's gonna work, especially on my skin. I do have combination skin that's definitely more on the dry side, especially this time of year. So I'm hoping this isn't too harsh, but I'm 
I'm really curious to try this out. They also sent me their under eye illuminator and I've been using this and it's really nice. It's a moisturizer and it has these shimmery pigments in them and it just does so much to counteract any darkness under your eyes. It doesn't disrupt the wear of your makeup at all. It just absorbs right in. I ordered a few things from Paula's Choice. I got their Radiance Renewal Mask. Rian made me do it once again. This I just wanted to try because I love overnight masks and anything that promises more radiance and smoothness in skin, I really want to try. I got their Resist Intensive Wrinkle Repair Retinol Serum. That is a mouthful. I got this because I want to use it on my forehead. Just I'll be totally real with you guys. So it says it repairs wrinkles and sun damage, builds skin firming collagen, and reduces dark spots. And then I've had a, I think I found a discount code where I could get some of these travel sizes for free. So I got the Resist Daily Pore Refining Treatment. I've heard this is a really good one to use on your nose like anywhere you have larger pores. So I'll probably use it on my nose and a little bit right here on my cheeks. And I got the Resist Daily Smoothing Treatment 5% AHA, which is a glycolic acid. Just says again, it helps correct uneven skin tone. It's a chemical exfoliant and I've heard this is good for like your nose as well. So these two are pretty similar. One's BHA, this one's AHA. Maybe I'll send this one to Rianne actually, because I I think this was the one she meant to order for herself. She messaged me and said she ordered the wrong one. And I think I got that. So maybe I'll set that aside and send to her. Also in my root order, I got their Pretty Brush Cleaner. I usually use Dr. Bronner's to clean my brushes. This one is lemon mint scented and their basic cleanser, I've been using it around my home. It works really well. So I wanted to give this a try on my brushes. It comes in a cute little pump bottle, so I couldn't resist. From 100% Pure, I got their Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream. This was actually a gift with purchase when I placed an order. I ordered a refill of the Bright Eyes masks. This is one of the five pack. These things are so good. They sell them individually, but honestly, just get the five pack. It's totally worth it. These things are amazing. They do so much to depuff and brighten the under eye area. I use them pretty much every day before I film. I feel like they make a huge difference in how my skin looks. I use these all the time. Again, just get the five pack. And then I also got the red wine reversed. I don't know how you say that word. And I know I'm going to butcher it if I try. So I got the red wine nourishing cream to protect against signs of aging, such as lines, wrinkles, and lots of elasticity as red wine. Derma E sent me a couple products. They sent another of the purifying two in one charcoal mask and their purifying youth serum. I can use these sparingly. They are a little bit harsh for my skin right now, but can we just talk about their new packaging and how nice that is? It looks so pretty. So Derma E, good job on the packaging. It's really, really nice. Lush sent us a package with their Valentine's Day collection. So again, check out Justin's video, it's linked below and he went through like everything that was in there, but can we talk about this massage bar for a second? It's the Love Spell Massage Bar. It smells super tasty and their massage bars are so, so nice. The formulas are really good. I think they also work well as like a lotion bar too. From Skin Owl, I got a refill of my Beauty Drops in Geranium. I've been using these all the time since I first discovered Skin Owl and their Mango Steam, which are Beauty Night Drops. So these are really, really nice. And I've actually been mixing them with the rose oil from Caney Botanicals, and they all work really well together. A couple things from Aura Acacia. I picked up their Chill Pill Essential Oil because I've heard it's really good, and their Pillow Potion, which is an essential oil mist you spray on your pillow before bed. I've typically been using lavender oil for that, but this one has lavender, orange oil, hops extract, and patchouli, and yarrow oil, and chamomile. I'm kind of a sucker for patchouli, I'll just put that out there. So I wanted to try it and it smells really good. It's super relaxing. From everyone, I ordered another Epsom soak in grapefruit and black pepper. Ever since Rianne sent me this, I have been going through it like crazy. I use it all the time. Like I mentioned in, I think my 2016 favorites, anytime I have sore muscles, anytime I feel like I have a cold coming on or I am actually sick, I take a bath with this and it helps so much. I don't know what it is about it, but it just like, it gets rid of your body aches, helps to like pull the yuckiness out of you, it helps warm you up. Like you just, I feel warmer after. It's just a really nice bath salt. On my last Grove order, I ordered the Calming Lavender Body Wash from Jason. So I used to buy the rose one a lot for bubble baths, but they didn't have rose, so I got lavender. And I thought it would just be a nice thing to try. This huge size is pretty cheap, so. 
picked it up. Gloss Modern was really kind and sent me a package with their shampoo, their conditioner, their hair serum, and their deep conditioning mask. These are all really, really nice. Again, Justin talked about them in his Valentine's Day gift guide. A super, super great set, especially if you're looking for really luxurious, fancy hair care. Oh yeah, speaking of hair, I ordered this hairbrush from 100% Pure too. It was like seven bucks, so kind of had to have it. And it's gigantic. From their photos on their website, I thought it would be like a travel purse size. This is not, but I'm excited to use it. Okay, the last bit of this video is all about drinks because I drink a lot of tea, I drink a lot of coffee, and I get questions about what I like. Blue Bottle is a San Francisco-based coffee company and they have launched a subscription service and you can sign up for a trial and get a free little, what is this, two ounce bag of coffee. So I did that to try it out. I haven't used it yet, but I thought that was awesome. I will put the link to where you can try this down below. You get this one for free. You don't even have to pay shipping, so why not? And if you like it, you can stay on for the subscription. From the Organic Bunny, I ordered a couple different teas. So this is from Tao Tea Co. I think I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. It's their Sheramoya Rose Green Tea. I, I like rose. I like green tea. It's a loose tea, which I really appreciate too. I'm excited to use this in my teapot. And then I also ordered these little packets of matcha from Matcha Ninja, little single serve packets. And I've made green tea lattes a couple times this week. This stuff is really, really tasty. Also from the Organic Bunny, I finally ordered a beaker water bottle. I've been wanting this one for ages and finally just decided to go ahead and do it. I figured since my pal started a shop and I really wanted to support her, what better time to spend my money on a fancy water bottle. So I did, and I have no regrets because it's so freaking cute. My pals over at Four Sigmatic sent me a care package. So it's a mix of their elixirs and their coffees. There was hot cocoa in there too, but we already drank that. I am currently drinking actually this mushroom coffee, which is Lion's Mane and Chaga. It's super tasty. You guys have heard me talk about Four Sigmatic before. I've been drinking their coffee for a long time. It's so good. I know it sounds weird, but it's super good, trust me. And I do really like the elixirs too. These were actually really good. I mixed them with the hot chocolate and it was a really good combination. I don't know, you just have to try their stuff. I know it sounds weird to be drinking like a mushroom elixir or a mushroom coffee, or mushroom hot chocolate, but it's just, it's really good. And I feel like I feel a lot of the benefits from it too. So I'll probably talk about this stuff more in my supplement video that I'll be filming later. This was such a long haul. Thank you so much for sitting through this with me. Give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more haul videos and I will see you guys soon.